Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog for uh, Pokemon Spectrum Session 23. Yay! Oh. Ella was epic today. <laughs> and about time. Yes, <laughs> Ella got to shine a lot today. That was yes. cool to see. Yeah. In ways I didn't even imagine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> did so much talking. I was like, oh gosh, no. <laughs> no. no, you're good though. You're great, Ella. You're such a good RP. I always feel bad that you don't really get special focus sessions the way the rest of us have sometimes. <laughs> so it's like today was just, yes, this is great. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to screw this up. I think Noir is going to be a very focused character in the next, in the next uh, session. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just gonna get Sorry, what do I mean? <laughs> KO first round. Yeah. Like... Never mistreat a Pokemon. They'll come back after you. <laughs> well, we killed them in the real world, not the digital world, so that's kind of dead, right? Kill something for us, it's not going to come back, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. It's probably how that goes. <laughs> but yes, uh, Fern, yeah, was surprisingly sexy, so... Good work. Yep. Innocent. I did not see Fern doing that. Yes. <laughs> because she just wants so much death for housewives and real housewives. <laughs> That's true. Good oh. job, Cynthia. Good job. <laughs> Even off camera, see? Cassie's mom is so important. <laughs> don't know if you, you of course. Don't know if you could have pulled off. I don't know if it's about the same thing, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd like to think with Flash is in the right outfit. Eo just flips his goo back. <laughs> <laughs> it's very shiny. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, I did not predict that happening. <laughs> that was not on the plan. <laughs> I thought that... Lebo and Mortimer were adorable. Mm -hmm. Poor Mortimer. <laughs> Until he crushed his heart. School flashbacks. Could... But it's okay, right? Because he's, I mean, Mortimer is the most popular kid in the school. Yeah. Like, he's, he'll be fine. Just he has make plenty you friends. of friends to fall yep. back on. He's got, you know, because no, none of his other friends abandoned him. You know. He's... <laughs> I wish I could have got in the whole, sometimes we've got to be secret superheroes. I just, I just, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> so you could take that away. Like, I, I thought you were yeah. going to go with that scene. You're going to go, maybe he's a arachno. Like he's, he's like the superhero that's gone off to like, like he was that kind of crazy. But he, he hopes he finds that crumped up, crumpled up piece of paper when he gets back. Oh. No. <laughs> Remy doesn't know it's there, but oh. his soul does. <laughs> his soul does. It's part of him. <laughs> He feels incredibly guilty for some reason. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he actually would. He'd feel oh. really bad. But poor Mortimer. Oh, I know. Because, I mean, he was treated like a runt. Like, this literally, like, he just did to... He just did <laughs> the exact bully thing to do, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know, bully, her bullet gave him the chance, so... He didn't take <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh. The, the, the pressure of having to... See, know, if... Had you stayed, had you stayed with Mortimer, you wouldn't have been KO'd. That's <laughs> you true. Been KO'd. Karma, man. Karma. But then we would have missed out on those cool, cool fire attacks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Chase wouldn't get like extra fire stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam is really well for some reason. I do want to point out that I that I personally totally forgot about both Molly and Ooze. Uh, abilities. Aww. So Molly could have used Pack Hunt a few times during the fight, mm. but I just totally forgot about it. Right, and yeah, when yeah. Remy when, when Remy when Remy fainted, you could have used Power of Alchemy. So that, what's that do? Does that heal? Like is that a No, it it um it takes one of Remy's abilities and treats you oh, as having that right. ability. Yeah. Oh, oh damn. Oh, interesting. Mm. That's interesting. Really good that really first round. Look at the made it. <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, you might need it next time. Well, yeah, when yeah. when he thinks next time, then then you can do it. Is that literally the trigger? Like something has to go down, and then you you yes. basically siphon off that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, is it, is it one ability? Do you get to pick which ability? I can choose which ability. Cool. Yeah. Wow. That's why I was asking about abilities in the Discord. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking you. of things going down, some people killed something. Some some people. 
some Pokemon and people killed things for the first time. <laughs> In a way, yeah. They weren't real things. <laughs> They're just Remy, glitches. Remy's They're not Remy's real Pokemon. Them. <laughs> They're not real. <laughs> and now we're all infested. <laughs> oh, boy. We're not gentle. in the neutral world, it'd be fine. So who committed, mo who killed them? Like uh, Cassie finished off two of them. You oh, killed so one. Two. Mm -hmm. uh, Remy's not speaking up. But <laughs> <laughs> just shuffling his paws. It wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember who killed Kill Me Now and like the uh, mm -hmm. other Spartacus one. It's just like, I think one of them got shot. <laughs> Had you um, befriended and made peace with the glitches, they would have assisted you in this. They would have not fought against you. They would have been on your side. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's... our charm people were not the top of the initiative order. <laughs> they asked for too much, man. I, too I much. used the best social thing I had available. Which was intimidating, and it worked, was which was awesome. Man. What you yeah, looking no, at? That's good. That's good. <laughs> Didn't really exactly. <laughs> Didn't really make him friends, but. Well, they weren't being friendly, so. Yeah, exactly. It it was an interesting day for Bullet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got to be the uncle. He got to be a bodyguard. He got to act like he lost a camera. He never got his camera back. Yeah, that's no. <laughs> Part of him will always feel sad about that. Yeah. <laughs> Molly will get you a new one as soon as this is all over. Don't worry. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Did anyone uh, expect President Bo to be the way that President Bo was portrayed? Did anyone expect him to be like that or not? Or what did you expect President Bo to be like in person? I really had expectations. I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. Actually, mm -hmm. I didn't either. <laughs> It was in, in range of what I expected. Mm -hmm. Had to be somewhat capable leader and care about the votes enough to like actually get elected. Yeah. So the implication is that President Bo hired Flora to be a spy, to spy on how things were going in Kanto because of the plans that mm -hmm. Johto has been having. And when Cassie ran into Sylvain with Bo, mm -hmm. Bo was on a business trip to do a little bit of reconnaissance himself. But of course, at the time, he had to pose as if he was Sylvain's Pokemon, as opposed to the other way around. So he's done this several times where him and Sylvain have traveled and under this guise, and Sylvain and him just switch roles as necessary, depending on where they are. Which is a really interesting dynamic between the two of them. Peralt was also, like I said, he shared his story a bit. Um, and that's how he became in possession of Bo. Um, and a lot of the technology that the Pokemon are, are interested in, are, are enjoying right now, is because of him. In addition to Bill. Bill was a big part of that as well. So. <clears throat> Why'd they have to be all rape scary, though? Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that usual for your business trips? <laughs> oh, Cassie. Well, Sylvain, Sylvain has to put up an air to, instead of, uh, it's hard for Sylvain to uh, blend in and not draw attention to himself. So because he can't do that, he will just act as, he'll <clears throat> act intimidating and act like, you know, Nobody should mess with him, basically. So in order to keep up his cover, he'll approach a lone girl on the beach <laughs> who was not previously aware of him. <laughs> Main character status. It's just moth yeah, to a flame. Magnets. I don't know why, but I gotta go You're, talk to that girl. I have to talk to that girl. There's something about her that seems she important. She has theme music. I think it's important. I feel like I need to talk to her. Well, maybe Bo picked up on, like, Hmm, you seem somehow touched by the gods. I think we should talk. Let to me her. touch you too. <laughs> no, this um, one doesn't take your way out. <laughs> Can't arrange it. What would have happened, but... by the way, if uh, Chase 
was out of his Pokeball and saw Sylvain face to face, what would have yeah. happened? It wouldn't have been good enough predicament in that current exchange. Like I like I, I had to message in the chat. I, I trusted that like Petra would understand this, like as yeah. much that it's just this is not this would nope. go completely wrong if Chase was released. Like he'd approach him right away because from Chase's perspective, it's like he would be remembering back when they, they mm -hmm. encountered them mm -hmm. at the sushi. And they bar. took Sylvain down. And at that particular moment, it's like Peralt was still not summoned, but if if he had seen both of them together with Bo, it would have it would have uh, mm -hmm. changed his opinion of the entire mm -hmm. arrangement going on. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I mean, if he learns that, um, which I'm sure he has, or someone like if, I don't think we even had time to talk. That's the thing as character as mm -hmm. uh, the humans, yeah. but like he would he would have uh, many second guesses like he because he would still be thinking like those two people can't be involved with Bo and be out for the peace of humanity it's just that's not possible because that's not who they are in his head um <clears throat> as a player i was wondering like i thought Bo would have been more more of a puppety kind of scenario and maybe that hasn't but um the way the omni connection was revealed and how he just gave us access to this thing right away to move us along um as a player, I didn't anticipate that. I thought he was going to be more of a puppet or mm. other okay. players. I, I think um, Team Omni might have been a financial supporter of mm -hmm. who gave <clears throat> false impressions of what they were doing to Bo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I was like, oh, don't tell anyone, but go fix this. I see. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they were the motivational yeah. They were the motivational group before all this mm -hmm. to say we need to just take everyone else else out, um, mm -hmm. and then he basically fought back against that and said, "Well, no, we're going to go with this direction instead and screw on me." So he could he Yay! could be compromising himself pretty badly at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> when okay, actually, but we're still on that scene. Is anyone disappointed? Lux only let Noir out. I was kind of the Pokemon or the players or the or the humans. Players, so Pokemon, anything. I'm just curious in general. Mm, I, I was curious to see what would have happened, but disappointed. No, now Roma. I was hoping. I was kind of hoping Molly would be let out, just because okay. there was there were certain things I was curious about. Mm. But <laughs> sorry, not. I'm more popping out five humans might freak him out. Mm -hmm. His no, brother's already a hard no. Cassie, yeah. Cassie can go one of two ways. Very nice, or oh gosh darn girl, do not be sassy right now. Tiffany, well, <laughs> you just heard the morning review of well, Tiffany kind of screwed us over, so she's not getting a social ball right now. Guess that just leaves Noir. Let's go with her. She seems reasonable. Noir was the best call. <laughs> <laughs> Because she was a psychic, and it was already it was established mm -hmm. that the psychics have a little bit better acceptability, mm -hmm. like the, pre the preference to those humans, uh, because they have the psychic type or whatever. So yeah, it's like those guys are outsiders. Mm -hmm. I'm, cu I'm curious. Um, uh, I didn't I didn't get to bring this up last week in the vlog, but um, uh, uh, if if you're willing to reveal <clears throat> at this point, uh, what? What would have happened if they had gone to Johto first? Like, how would that <laughs> would that have been affected? Yeah, 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 yeah. So besides the obvious, which is stuff would have stuff for for Cynthia would have been a lot different. Of course. Oh yeah. Um, she would not have been hurt, like I said. Cynthia would not have been hurt, but they would have completed the brainwashing so that if Cassie were to come home, she would not know who she was completely Aww. not know who she ah. was, which would have been really, really tragic, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, it would have. If you were to go to Johto first, then the entire like second half of this campaign would have been totally different because you would have been exposed. Yeah. Obviously, you would have been exposed to Johto already. You would have probably spent more time like with Bill because Bill would maybe you would have decided to save Bill or stop Bill from betraying him or encouraging him to betray them to, to betray them i don't know what you would have done with him um and i was just going to take it from there like i didn't have anything solid planned of other than this is the universe that i mean this is the world that this region has created for itself 
these are the high players, like the high stake players. I would have introduced you to Bo, obviously. I would have informed you of stuff with Bill. Um, you would have met the Rays as well and gotten to figure out that. And the end game would have been totally different because you would have had the opportunity, depending on how you played your cards, you would have had the opportunity to come back to Kanto and then given the knowledge you have from Johto, maybe do something while you're in Kanto. So since things were completely um, done differently, it's hard for me to tell you beyond that, like what, what I planned, because I didn't really plan anything. I was just going to see what you guys did and then just go from there. Makes sense. <clears throat> Everything with Team Omni would have been the exact same thing. Uh, I would have probably found ways to introduce elements of Team Omni's story to you over the course of the second half, maybe in different ways, mm -hmm. so that you didn't just all get them all at once, like you did now. Um, but yeah. Chase wouldn't have been a berserker. Chase's development would have changed if we went to mm -hmm. Johto first. Mm -hmm. yeah, the same with Cassie's for sure. When I first started the campaign, I had intended for Johto to be a relatively large side quest, which was like slightly larger than Castilia City. Um, but as the story progressed more and more, it started feeling like if you chose to do it that way, especially because you decided to stay and go to Team Rocket first to save Cynthia, um, it started to feel like it was more of an end gamey kind of location than a glorified side quest. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Good question. Very good question. <clears throat> When you guys were given, gi okay, given the entire session, what happened to the entire session as a whole, when the gods gifted you with aura break, did you necess do you necessarily now think that it, you were intended to use aura break against Dr. Jaboku? Given the ending of this session, do you necessarily right now think it was intended for Dr. Jaboku? Oh, well, I actually thought that our first thoughts would mostly go to Giratina, but my personal thought was, wait, no, let's think long term and save it for the god of gods. You could. What about the other people? What did you guys think? I automatically went to Jiboku, but again, Tiffany, personal tie, she's focused mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking either or. Mm -hmm. Either or. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You only get three, so yes. <laughs> make it count. <laughs> make it count. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I was thinking both. Both. Like okay. Like it could be used for either of them. Like if things go bad with Giratina, can't talk your way out of it. There's a fight your way out. Mm -hmm. Joe Booker. Mm -hmm. Use it there. If there's another way to like trap him without having to deactivate auras, I could use it there. Because we have three uses and we can split them up. Yeah. I mean, right, Hark? Right. <laughs> you can split them up. Okay, yes. yeah. So like we could do you like can. one on Giratina and then the other two on. You can if you want. Okay, yeah. Do we have to fight Giratina though? Maybe we can just talk and explain our situation. We could certainly try. <laughs> You can Make certainly try. Make a deal with the god of the underworld. Yes. Not even so much a deal. We know there's a dead god. You should totally be on our side. Plus, you know, all these other gods are on our side. Come on. Be great. Group outing. I mean, if the if the Pokemon go to war, that's a lot of death, man. He can get a <laughs> lot of new he can get a lot more clientele. If we go to war, so oh, he loves his job. Oh, okay. More paperwork, like it's gonna be very more. All that paperwork, you don't want to deal with that with his little arms. Your Tina's be like, but it's so lonely. I need more people here. I mean, Giratini should probably be a thing. Giratini, yeah, little little pocket Giratina. Like I got you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> we still get like, like feeding little bits like, of baby one. <laughs> egg, and then we like raise it, and it's like Giratini. 
Aww. Oh. 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 Here comes Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No, well, I thought I thought I thought Chase wanted to be a Garatini, mm -hmm. and he switched back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which which segues way. which segues into my main other point, which is I did enjoy that finally Chase and Lux got to address that Yay! in the conversation. I was waiting for that. To have Only some been sort of... talking about this in session four. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, You're switching you bodies with Chase, about... you mean? No, <laughs> just Chase him talking. To talk. just being able to oh, talk. Okay. Like, okay. Originally, remember, Bullet was supposed to take Lux to Inky. Yeah. That plan mm -hmm. never happened. Supposed mm -hmm. to. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, it worked. Lux it worked. asked, Bullet said yes. Therefore, supposed to. <laughs> you finally got it, though, and I thought it was a very yes. good conversation. Yeah, the human yes. Pokemon, like, what, do you, what do you do if you had the choice, uh, it is actually a very complicated situation. Mm -hmm. um, at least for Chase. <clears throat> Um, I felt like with the exchange, like the, the information I got from Lux's point of view is like, he would do it, but why would someone want it? And it's one of those, exactly. well, he, Chase wouldn't, like, that's not how he wants him to respond. You know, like, like because <laughs> no, it needs to be, like, no. don't do it for me. Like, you need to want, right? Because Chase is all about, no, you need to choose that path. And so, he, you you know, it's a really interesting kind of arrangement. <laughs> why because they work, it, though. And it sets them up as like, they literally are inseparable because the only way from Chase's perspective, he can find the truth is to find it with Lux. Like that's the only way now he can feel complete. And so he, it'd be worse for him to lose Lux at this point than to lose himself. Um, like from death or something like that, because he's he's more for truth than for living, right? So um, it's going to be an interesting. I don't know what's going to happen next. Good to know. It's an interesting idea to yeah, or in the epilogue, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> I actually liked all the conversations that everyone had. Yeah. All of them ever. Oh, all of them Tiffany ever. ew. Adorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew that I knew that you wanted to cheer wanted to cheer Tiffany up after <laughs> seeing that and I couldn't at first I couldn't figure out how to and I was like, okay, breaking out another bad joke. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And then actually that goes hurts. very far back to the original concept of you and She's sad. I'm gonna make her smile. Mm -hmm. That was such mm -hmm. a great callback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was glad we got to have a conversation with Cassie and Molly again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are always enjoyable. Yep. Because I did feel like I did feel like Molly needed to clear some some air. <laughs> Still needed to clear some air between them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I'm glad I'm I'm glad uh, she gave uh, she gave those toys because. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Yep. That was useful. Shadow Claw was one of the moves that she got. Oh, the, other, yeah. the other move was Flash. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, Flash. Ooh. Don't use while you have the Roma. night goggles on. <laughs> Why didn't you use that on 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 uh President Bo, but I guess. Don't look everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Maybe next session. Maybe next session. How we take out missing now. All right, here, team, here we go. We go. <laughs> wow, okay. The power of the virus will be fine. Lux will feel so jealous. It'll be like, I thought that was my stick. You know? No. <laughs> That's what they I thought do I'm it. the only why does how why do they get the flash? <laughs> I want to run around naked in front. <laughs> well that's if everything goes wrong and he's last one standing <laughs> i don't know if it'll work on missing no but lux is willing to try well to be fair though oh i guess never mind that's only lux never mind if the last one standing yes <clears throat> i was going to bring up that god power but that's only for the humans yeah um, I think so. you know if we have like one human oh. le left standing then you use that super awesome god power and we do a thousand mm -hmm. billion damage mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, speaking of gods and god power, this is something I asked in Discord, but the more I've been thinking, I was like, I would actually like an answer. Is Tiffany technically a demigoddess? <laughs> Missing No was um, in her mom's body when conceived and born. Um, I don't know I don't... if that's how souls work. <laughs> that's <what I> was... <laughs> it's okay to say no, Mark. It's okay. So I don't think so, but oh. if you want to become a god you easily can i mean you've got yeah. the you've got the uh 
you've got the in. You've got the in right now, you know. You have so many connections. <laughs> yes. Like your dad. <laughs> it was my mom. It. That's not the that. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll make a deal with you, Petra. If you decide to become a god, from that point forward, you will be able to deduct any password off of any laptop that you want. <laughs> I have goddess just, of intuition, yes. You will have godlike intuition where you just look at a laptop and you're like, X at symbol, exclamation point, B, G, Z, hash, hashtag. Well, that was right, that how did you know that? <laughs> or setting that being a goddess, you wouldn't be able to directly fear with that type of thing and you won't be able to put the password in you just be able to tell someone else the password. Oh, that's what I have Kyle for. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He'd be let down. Him have sure. Let Tiffany have again. this. <laughs> Ella, just let Tiffany have this. Okay, just let her okay. have that. This is, this is her epilogue. This, this is, is what she wants for her epilogue. <laughs> The no, she wants technology. several other things, but Kyle and the ball. one of which that came up today of, okay, if things go really wrong, Pokemon are in charge. Ew. We're going to do contests. I will be out there on stage. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, happy ending, even in tragedy. Even in tragedy? Oh, God. Totally opportunities in tragedy. I'm glad that that came up in the dream world, though, that it was at least uh, addressed by the group, too, of just what what are the options here and, can, like, you know, just to understand the fact that this isn't a snap of the fingers and all of a sudden, I mean, unless there's yeah. a machine out there that makes it a snap of the fingers, but... You know, Brainwashing. Have, like, godly intervention. Like so we need some sort of mag I, MacGuffin here that changes the entire I, universe. You know, I'm. I, we might. It might sound like I'm joking, but like I am completely open to you know an ending where Tiffany becomes a new god and she gets worshipped <laughs> and tries to tell everybody to be equals. I am the god of. <laughs> Equality. You all should worship me. And Wait, but I'm not. You... I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> Can she become a I'm... god with her own influence and stuff? You know, because I thought in that case she would be like controlled by missing no. Oh well, you know that might be a thing too. Who knows? Oh, okay. I mean, I mean <laughs> but she should at least. She should at least try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? She can try yeah. it. And see what, you know. First that happens, she becomes the next season's villain. I mean, exactly. <laughs> Along with Mortimer. And her name is... Mortimer. That's her right hand minion. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I see Mortimer... See, when I think of Mortimer as being the next villain, I see Mortimer to be like Butters from South Park. <laughs> Um, Captain Cha Captain Chaos or whatever his name is. That's how that's how I see Mortimer. That's a villain. That's adorable. I was actually thinking like by the get him the costume. Yes. Oh, After them minions. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that one's a little more threatening, I think, than Butter. <laughs> yes. So, I am I am curious. Is is President Bo gonna put a Put a hold on the whole let's go to war thing oh, at least yeah. uh, i i don't want to reveal that yet oh boy i don't want to say that yet <laughs> hopefully he was he was willing to give us a well a meeting as early as possible to talk about peace stuff or mm -hmm. to talk about stuff at least um and the date was a week and so i would think we would have at least that much time before, okay, I actually didn't did realize anything. that if that table was still on the deal, because we had to leave. <laughs> Is that deal still on ever... the table? <laughs> uh, did you did you make an appointment with his secretary, like he said? Did we? I don't <laughs> think you did. No, no, no. Nope. So awesome. I don't think it's on the. T I don't think that was on the table anymore. Honestly, the fact that he was willing Bird to schedule me then. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't think I don't think we would still have a chance to meet with him, but just the fact that he got us in as early as possible to supposedly talk about such things, and it was a week later was the earliest point. I would think he wouldn't make any big actions unless something else big happens that you know mm -hmm. affects that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll Except the reality that this wasn't on the table for the gaming group. <laughs> Anything past a day. Um, no. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, We're running out of sessions. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I would All love right. to actually have another month after the uh, whatever happens next session, but <laughs> I have a feeling that's not going to be a thing. I have a yes. feeling. 
So how many how many sessions do we have left? You mentioned at the beginning it could be two, it could be three. You might have one more. You might have two more. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on what happens next week. Never or, or oh, the next yeah. session. How many how many characters um, do you think are gonna be happy in the end? <laughs> you don't have to say that. Um, like well, it depends on how things go with Giratina, number mm -hmm. one. Yeah. It depends on how you resolve um, it depends on how you resolve uh, Dr. Jaboko, of course. Yeah, context. Yep. It depends on how you resolve things with uh, the Darkrai crew. Yeah. Those three factors will determine how happy your characters are going to be. <laughs> and how happy you're going to be with your decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Darkrai. So Rai I don't know. Yeah, because I'm just thinking of Darkrai crew. If their plan goes off, like our chances to affect that one way or the other would be would be highly swayed by one or then someone gets thrown on the bus. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, will Will the Darkrai crew know about the events leading up to the last session? <clears throat> By, they eventually will, by the, yes. By the Dark Cry crew, I mean the players. Like, will they know? Will the players know? Yeah. No. They will not. The players will not know. Okay. Because I don't think I'll be. Po I don't think that our session will be posted early enough for them to know. Okay. And you won't tell. Like, you won't give them a summary of everything. I might. Or how are they? Yeah. I might. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. From their perspective, yeah.